So hi and welcome to this video. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, doing two things. The first thing we're going to be doing uh, is we're going to be increasing the PHP maximum file upload limit um, or file up size upload limit to uh, whatever. Um, we're going to be increasing it because um, the default is actually only two megabytes. So we're going to be uh, increasing that to, I don't know, like half a gigabyte or something. So that way we can um, upload uh, videos that are more than... Um, uh, two megabytes because a lot of videos aren't are a lot more than two megabytes and uh, two megabytes for like a long video would mean the video would have to be really bad quality. The second thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on the latest videos page. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to edit the php.ini file uh, that comes with your PHP installation and we're going to be updating the or I mean increasing the um, maximum uh, allowed file upload or file size upload. So to do that, what you want to do is you want to go into um, OS, which is just C drive or whatever on Windows, and you want to go to XAMPP. On Mac, you have to go to Applications, then you want to go to XAMPP, and then you get this folder. Then what you want to do is you want to go to the PHP folder, and you want to uh, just click anywhere and press P, and it should take you down to the first file that starts with P. Then what you want to do is you want to go and find php.ini. So uh, this is it here, and we can check that by going to uh, properties and as you can see it's uh, configuration settings and then it says .ini is the extension so what we want to do is we want to just drag this into sublime text and then what we want to do is we want to press ctrl f or command f on a mac or whatever and you want to type in max file or max underscore file and click find and what it does is it finds um, the part of the file that specifies the maximum um, allowed file size that can be uploaded. So what you want to do is you just want to change this from two megabytes to, I'm going to increase it to half a gigabyte, but you can increase it to whatever you want. So, um, so half a gigabyte isn't 500 obviously, so it's 512 because a gigabyte is 1024 megabytes. So it's uh, 512 megabytes I'm changing it to. Obviously you can change it to whatever you want, but this will just allow us to upload videos that are um, more than two megabytes in size. So then we've done that, we just want to close this, we don't need it anymore, and we're going to go back to um, our project. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create a new file, and we're going to save it. Okay, so we need to go uh, to our htdocs folder, and here it is in here. So what we want to say is we want to call this latestvideos.php. And we also need to go into it here, so. Okay, so here's our uh, project, and if we go to latest videos, there's our file. We also want to uh, drag in the uh, popular page, because we can use a lot of the code from that uh, in our latest videos page. So the first thing we can do is we can just copy the uh, include header file, or include header um, function. And then what we want to do is we want to do exactly the same as this one. So we'll just copy everything for now and then we'll tweak it to make it suit the latest videos. So uh, instead of order by views, what we want to do is you want to change it to um, order by, uh, let's see if we like, recorded the date added. So let's go into uh, videos. And it says date uploaded, so we're going to order it by date uploaded. Um, not sure if it'll work because it's not a number, but let's try it anyway. So let's say date uploaded. And then descending, uh, which will um, put the video with that was uh, most recently uploaded at the top. Then what we want to do is we just want to Go over here and we want to go to the latest videos page, but obviously we haven't created um, a link for it, so we're just going to type it in. Okay, so here it is. It's uh, order of videos in order of um, when they were last uploaded. Um, let's see. Uh, there's actually not a whole lot we need to change. We need to add uh, a link to the user's channel. Uh, that uploaded it, and we also need to create a link to the actual video. So uh, let's go to the image and let's create a href. And we'll set this equal to um, 
uploaded by, so we just need to echo uploaded underscore by and then close or I mean put a semicolon there and then we want to do is you just want to end the uh, the link with the, the closing a tag so then what we want to do is just refresh and as you'll see a link should appear as you can see these are not clickable and I can click on them and it should take me to uh, the channel of whoever made it obviously we don't want it to take it to my uh, profile we want to take it to the channel um, that uploaded it so um actually we'll just leave it as um uh, uploaded by for now uh, and i noticed this is in twice so we'll just get rid of that we'll leave it to uploaded by and then we'll sort it out or we'll uh, change it to channels in another video because that would actually require actually uh, a lot of work because we haven't been recording it we haven't been uh, recording it whenever the video got uploaded so uh, what we need to do now is we need to go into the header file And we just want to drag this header into um, the project. And then we want to scroll down and we want to find uh, latest videos. So now we've done that, we've actually um, have a lot of time left. So that we've uh, now we've finished the uh, latest videos at uh, PHP page. So then what we're also going to do is we're going to say latest underscore members. And we're going to do that one too because that's actually um, almost the exact same. So what we're going to do is we're going to click file, new file, and we're going to save it as uh, latest underscore members PHP. Now what we're going to do is just copy all this and paste it in. This one requires a bit more tweaking, so obviously we want to change this to users. Uh, we want to get to the registration date if we recorded that. So let's go back to our database, uh, I mean our table. Our, no, our database, and then go into the users table. Um, and let's see. So we didn't actually record the um, date they up they uh, joined. So we're going to do that now. So we're going to say a structure, and we're going to add a new row at the end, and we'll say date underscore joined. Set it to a varchar and we'll set the length to the maximum of 255. Then we'll set the index to primary and auto increment to on. Index primary or the um, primary index just means that, um, whoops, oh, we don't want to do that actually. Don't know what I'm thinking. Uh, so let's just add it again. Uh, let's say varchar. I'll set it to 255 and hit enter and that should uh, work. Then what we want to do is we want to uh, go to our registration page. So let's go out of this uh, and let's go to join.php and we just want to get the date the user joined. So uh, let's go down here, add a new slot so or a new space or whatever and we'll just say date. Then we want to go up here and let's go above all this. So if we go above everything, we're just going to set uh, date equal to, and then we're going to use the date function. And then what we're going to say is, let's say, uh, let's get the month first. So uh, month and then day, so, and then y. So let's try that. This just gets the month, then the day, then the year. Not sure if it will work, but let's give it a go. So now what we want to do is we just want to log out and create an account again. So unexpected, okay, I think I left at the semicolon and no, I didn't. Um, I need to run this in uh, double quotes because it's a string contained within the function uh, parameter. So let's try this and we'll try it again. So I'll just type in my name. Um, let's just put in whatever, let's just give it a password of password, let's just put in, I don't know, um, uh, oh, this probably has to be a number, so let's just say it like that, and click create account, it says registered successfully, and let's have a look at what gets entered into the database, uh, nothing.
Okay, so uh, let's go down here and let's uh, do some, pro uh, I suppose you could say debugging, find out what's wrong with our code. So let's uh, say MySQL error, um, and then let's try it again. Okay, column count doesn't match value at row one. What this means is uh, we've got, let's go to structure. This means we have 10 uh, different rows here. So then it means we obviously don't have 10 rows here. So let's count them. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and then we actually have another one to add in here. So let's see what it is. It's profile pick. So let's just add it, leave it blank for now. And let's try it again. So let's just put whatever we want. And let's click create account. You have an error in your syntax. Okay. Let's go and find the problem and we just left out a uh, quote. So hopefully three times uh, should be enough. Let's just put the same one. Um, let's get create account again and see it says registered successfully. And I just realized it spelled registered wrong as well. It gets added to the database. And the uh, date join gets recorded. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to just change that actually. Registered successfully, just spell registered right. And then what we want to do is we want to order them by date joined. Let's change this to get. Okay, we'll just use uh, some of the built in uh, functions within uh, Sublime Text. So we're just going to click Control F and we're going to type in get vit. I mean, not Control F, Control R. Okay, maybe not. Let's just do find replace Control H actually, and then we'll just say get underscore videos, and we're going to replace it with get underscore users. Uh, we're going to click replace all. Uh, then we want to say is there are no users. And we want to change this to username. That's all we'll do for now. We'll keep the rest for another time. So we'll just get the username out of the database. And we'll just say echo. So we're just going to echo the username. And we're just gonna, whoops, uh, we'll put. Um, a break tag underneath it just so that we get them all on a new line. So if we go to latest videos, we don't want to go to that, we want to go to latest members. And as you can see, it orders the members by uh, the date they joined. And obviously, uh, username HJ just was the uh, last person to join, so uh, it added them first, but the others don't have. Um, they see, their date joined is actually blank. So this means that they're just ordered in whatever random order. Uh, they're just probably ordered in the order they can come out of the database. So if in a, if you were, were actually using this for real, it would work. It's just because the other fields were blank. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Um, also, don't forget to like or to uh, tell me what you think of this series. Um, if there's anything you want me to do differently or improve on or anything you want me to cover specifically, just let me know and I'll do my best to... Um, accommodate it. So thanks for watching again and uh, don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe and I'll see you next time.